Today's video is all about some genius hacks using Dollar Tree peel and stick wallpaper and tiles. So let's get started. We are going to make a tray that can be displayed with cutting boards or just as a functional tray. So for this, I'm gonna take the self-adhesive wall tiles. I love this pattern. And I'm gonna pair this with a Dollar Tree pizza pan. Now, the thing with the, this wall tile that you have to keep in mind is that the design is separate from the sticky part. So I'm first gonna use the sticky part just to press down on the pizza pan to get an idea of where I need to make my cuts, but I'm not going to keep the sticky part because as I make the cuts, you're gonna see that that layer in between the actual sheet where the design is and the sticky adhesive is gonna separate. So basically once you cut it, it's just not going to be adhesive. So keep that in mind. These work great as is if you keep them in the 12 by 12. So as you see here, once I made my cuts, that adhesive is separated. So I'm gonna take that away and we're just gonna use some hot glue that is going to adhere this just fine. So be careful though with the hot glue. I did press down on this and because it was on the pizza pan, then it was a very thin layer of peel and stick. It did get very hot to touch. Um, we're just going to hot glue this before we add some paint. Now you can leave this as is. I just felt like spray painting this made those seams look a little less and I did go back and trim them before I went ahead and painted. But I first wanted to get everything down and then once I had everything glued, I was able to see and press in where I needed to make cuts so that everything was nice and even. So once that hot glue sets, I'm gonna press down a little more and just carefully cut everything out with a box cutter to make it flush to the pan. And then I decided to spray paint this in black. Of course you can spray paint or leave this as is or paint this whatever you want. But I thought the black would look really nice. It kind of has that like Baroque look that I like. So once everything is trimmed, you're gonna spray paint it and that is it for this tray use this as an actual tray, but I thought this looked really pretty with this collection of cutting boards and some recent DIYs that I have. So I styled it this way and I just think that the paint really gives this pattern a nice pop. In my videos don't forget to give them a thumbs up it really helps my channel out and if you're not already subscribed i invite you to do so and make sure that notification bell is turned on so you know every time i upload a new video next up we're going to take that same peel and stick and we're going to make a wall hanging adding it to the seasonal moon sign this is a great idea if you have some seasonal signs that you like the shape but you don't like the design i always say on my channel if you do not like the design of something at the dollar tree but you like the shape it just gives you a good base to work with with. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to go ahead and remove that sticky part since again, once we're going to cut this, it's going to lose the adhesive. Don't worry. This video is peel and stick tile and wallpaper. I will have plenty of projects in this video to show you with the actual adhesive part of the tile staying on. But for this, I felt like it was easier to take it off. I'm going to trace. First I did a marker and then I realized that's just gonna be a hot mess. So I went in with the pen, traced and cut that and then applied it with some hot glue. Let know in the comments if you like the Dollar Tree peel and stick wallpaper and tiles and what are some projects that you have done lately with them. I love doing actual crafting projects but I also like adding them to some of my furniture and walls. They really are a great budget friendly way to just get a new look. So I'm always curious to see what people are doing with them. So let me know in the comments. Our moon shape is cut out. We are going to just add some hot glue and sections to this. Now this looks really pretty as is. Um, of course, you're going to see that I'm going to use a lot of black paint in this video because that's just my personal preference. But as always, everything I show you is for inspiration. So you can leave things as is. You can paint them to fit your home decor style, whatever you want. Now this is pretty as is, but I love adding some macrame. I'm not going to do knots, just the, just the cord. Um, so I'm taking a Dollar Tree dowel and some macrame cord that I already had. 
This is from Amazon. I always have my favorite macrame cord from Amazon in the description box, but you can also use some Dollar Tree cord. I'm just going to loop this on a dowel and then I'm going to hot glue this to the bottom of the moon. So it acts as a wall hanging. I see a lot of these on Pinterest a lot and I wanted to recreate it using mostly Dollar Tree items. So once everything is on the dowel, I'm going to flip this over and hot glue it. Of course, you can add knots, you can add different colors, um, you can use yarn, you can use different color macrame cord. So many different options, but this definitely gives that kind of boho high-end look for way less using a Dollar Tree sign. And I just love the texture and design that that Dollar Tree peel and stick wallpaper gives it. I also have this paired with some recent projects, which will be linked in the description box below up we're going to use one of these tiles from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to pair this with a piece that I actually got on clearance to make a recipe book or tablet holder. So I'm going to take this tile. I love the print of it. I just did not like the color or design. So this is a menu or tablet holder I got from Hobby Lobby on clearance. It is janky as all you know what but it's workable. So I was trying to figure out how I wanted the tiles to go on this so what I decided to do was center it and then I am going to spray paint over it and then dry brush. That is something I love to do with the textured peel and stick tiles specifically from Dollar Tree because you can get that design that you like and if you don't like the color you can just dry brush over it and you can get the texture and design with whatever color you want. So I'm first gonna center, I used like one and a quarter tiles and then I added some bamboo skewers to cover up that, I don't know, I don't know what happened to this piece. I don't know if someone returned it. I don't know if it got dropped in the store, but I kind of look for pieces like this in stores. Let me know if you're the same in the clearance section because with a little bit of DIYing, you can really transform it. So I spray painted everything, including the, skew the skewers, yeah, the skewers in black. And then I took some apple barrel or this is folk art. It's a very light tan, almost white paint. And I'm gonna dry brush over this entire thing. And it's okay that it highlights the tile. I kind of wanted it to look like it was a raised tile. Um, and then it also highlights that really pretty design, but still gives me a completely different look with the background as black. So I will, I will link down a, another peel and stick wallpaper video and tile video I did. I paint over a lot of it because you really can transform it and get that textured look using the Dollar Tree peel and stick wallpaper or tiles as your base. I love this. This works also as a phone holder as I watch TV sometimes on my phone or watch my phone. It wouldn't be TV while I'm cooking. It holds my cookbooks. It was a great way to just add an inexpensive touch to a piece that needed some TLC. Project, we're gonna use the same exact peel and stick tile and we're gonna add it to a vase that I've had to just add some texture to it. So this is, I don't know, like a milk jug vase. I don't know, I've had this forever. I don't even remember where I got it from. Um, I just trimmed the tile and I did this just for a front accent. I'm gonna add this. Now, since this is on a rounded piece, I did have to add a little bit of hot glue just to secure it since it's going around. The adhesive on these work really well, but they're intended for a flat surface. So keep that in mind. If you use them on something that is rounded, you're probably gonna need some hot glue of some sort, some type of extra adhesive just to make sure that it stays in place. So once I had everything set, I spray painted this all one color, and then I'm gonna go in with some paint to dry brush. But what I'm gonna do different for this dry brushing unlike what I did for the recipe holder, is I'm first gonna go kind of heavy handed on the dry brushing and then I'm gonna take a paper towel, napkin, and while the paint is still wet, I'm gonna kind of smear it in. It's gonna give less of this kind of heavy handed look that you're seeing now and it's gonna show more of the design in a subtle way. So this is heavy handed, I'm not leaving it like this. Like I said, I'm gonna take that napkin, kind of smear everything in, and then you're gonna see the design more with just a subtle accent. Everything is dry, this is how it turned out. I had this paired with a recent project 
and some amazing Christmas tree shop Halloween finds. I know Christmas tree shop is a Northeast store, but if you're in the Northeast and you have one and you like Halloween decor, they have some amazing Gothic style decor this year. So I definitely suggest checking them out. We're gonna make another like wall piece. So for this, I took a tile that had a kind of rounded design. I painted it all white, and now I'm going to do some tan paint over it and then re-highlight it with some white paint just to get all the grooves. I apologize that the camera is not picking up because it's so white and bright, um, but I did this similar technique, and you'll see it once it's done, but I did a similar technique on stickers around my dining room um, server drawers, it's just a great way to, again, transform a peel and stick tile, add some paint to it, and make it your own. So I originally was gonna put this on a Dollar Tree garbage pail, but it just did, it didn't look good. I didn't like it. Instead, I decided to cut this out and then just put it on the wall to almost kind of act as a very neutral piece that you'd see even like in a basket wall. So once this was cut out, I went back in with some white paint to re-highlight where I added the tan. I just spray painted white just so I had a base from the kind of copper pink that this was. And that is it for this project. Paint some peel and stick tiles as is. I'm gonna add these to the glass doors on my dining room server. I decided to add them like this instead of like over centering the two of them just because these doors are a really wonky shape, the glass part, and it just was kind of a pain. But you basically just want to line up the tiles to whatever piece you are using. Um, I love this because this server my grandma gifted me when me and my husband got married and had our first um, house. I just can't stand the glass because I do not have like pretty organization for my china. So this is a great way to just spruce up a piece, hide maybe your hot mess of a china collection like I have, and using a Dollar Tree tile. So I love this. This was really easy and worked up in like 10 minutes. I used to have this Subway peel and stick from Dollar Tree. I decided to spruce it up with this pattern of peel and stick wallpaper. I just went right over, this poor little coffee spot has had like a chalkboard wall, it has had peel and stick subway tile, but that's the beauty of all peel and stick and stuff like that. You can just go over it, you can change it. So I added some of this peel and stick wallpaper. I trimmed it on the end and I love this. This is very much like the peel and stick wallpaper rolls I have seen on Amazon, but I was able to do this entire area with six pieces and I love how it just spruces it up. So if you have a small area like this, it really is super easy and budget friendly to spruce it up with some Dollar Tree peel and stick wallpaper. And then another thing to do with the peel and stick wallpaper, I'm taking this wood one. I'm gonna use this sign from Dollar Tree, it's the coffin sign, surprise, surprise. Um, but you can use this with any of the long signs that you want or just even a smaller sign. You can add this to the sign, if I can say the sign one more time, and you can get a tray. So I have seen some really cool coffin shaped cutting boards and trays specifically at Home Goods, but I just am cheap and don't feel like spending the money. So I was able to make this project for like four under four dollars. So I took the peel and stick, I cut slits so that I can kind of wrap this. Think of like wrapping a gift, but not. And then I lined up the second piece, trimmed it, and then I have this really pretty wood. It's coffin shaped for me, but of course you can do this with whatever you want. Um, piece that is way less than buying something comparable in the store. So once I have everything kind of tucked and folded, I did reinforce this with a little bit of hot glue just because I kind of folded away some of the adhesive part. Um, this is what it looks like. I love it. It's very subtle. It gives you a nice like wood tray look. And then all those ends are nice because we folded them over. And then I have this on my bookcase with some of my Halloween goodies. And I just love that I was able to get a really nice subtle tray. That's my Hocus Pocus bookmark, which that tutorial will be linked down below. My book ends and yeah, super, super easy. 
So I hope you enjoyed these peel and stick DIY hacks, ideas, decorating tips, whatever you want to call it. Let me know which of these you liked and what you might be trying in your own home. If you enjoy my videos, don't forget to give them a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And make sure that notification bell is turned on so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.